10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Ignition. is nominal. Max dynamic pressure approaching. Max dynamic pressure. Altitude 20 kilometers. Past maximum shear, dynamic pressure 50% of maximum. AOS at Chatham's. Thirty seconds, stage one remaining. CO2. Stage 1 propulsion still nominal. Minimize AOA. Burnout detect mode. Staging. Stage 1 makeup. Stage 2 engine ignited. Stage 2 propulsion nominal. Vehicle is stable. Following nominal IRP track. Southland is above horizon, awaiting his band shutdown and UHF startup. Fearing separation. Propulsion remains nominal. Telemetry nominal at my here and Chatham's. As you've been watching, the Electron has completed Stage 1 boost, Stage 2 separation ignition, and fairing deployment. After a little under five minutes, Stage 2 will perform a planned shutdown, and the first customer payloads will be deployed. We'll continue to follow the video stream and mission control audio channels until we reach that point in the mission.
Guidance is nominal, speed is 3 kilometers per second. Propulsion remains nominal. This is Mission Control Auckland. The flight so far is green, and we are approximately three minutes until stage two shutdown, which will be followed shortly by payload deployment. We will continue to follow the burn for as long as we have video. In the event that we do have video but have good telemetry, we'll continue to provide updates over the WebStream audio feed, and we'd cut over to Mission Control at that time. Please stand by as we continue to follow stage two burn. Coming up on hot swap. Hot swapping. Propulsion remains nominal. Velocity 4.6 kilometers per second. Failsafe is down. Nominally through the gate. One minute. As you just heard, there is one minute remaining in stage two burn. Burnout detect. Mode. Twenty seconds remaining. Velocity seven kilometers per second. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Vehicle is orbital. Shut down. Engine shut down. Can confirm I use the payload to fly. This is Mission Control Auckland. As you're uh, watching here on the video stream, we've got confirmation of payload deploy orbit insertion, which wraps up the initial part of our mission with a successful insertion into orbit. Today represents a significant milestone in opening up access to space to better understand our planet and improve life on Earth. At this point, we're going to end the webcast, so thanks for watching with us today. To stay up to date on future launches, follow Rocket Lab USA on social media or go to our website, rocketlabusa.com. This is Rocket Lab Mission Control, signing off.